Hello, my little minions. Now, Toby2 has requested uh, our best and worst memories. Now, I don't have a lot of memories because of Fen Fen and the side effects that they neglected to tell everybody. Thanks, Fen Fen. But um, the memory that I do remember uh, is my best memory is going over to my grandmother's house. And when I would go over to my grandmother's house, I think I was around, I don't know, eight to 10 years old. I remember sitting on the front porch and we'd go in and she always had how much is that doggy in the window playing and I think she played it mostly for me not realizing that I really didn't like it nearly as much as she did it was more like I liked it because she did uh, so that was awesome when she passed away that was actually the only thing I requested from her house and unfortunately I didn't get it I know exactly who got it so that kind of pissed me off um now, I remember going out on the front porch and we would be sitting there eating pomegranates and we would eat until our hands were this pinkish purple bluish color from the pomegranate dye and we would just sit there and eat it and eat it and eat it and oh, they were so delicious and so sweet and there's nothing like homegrown pomegranates. Um, then I remember going in the backyard and playing, and I seem to only remember going back there with my brother, Bucky. I don't remember Penny or Sheila ever going back there for some reason. Maybe once or twice, but I, for the most part, I don't really remember. Um, but we'd go in the back, and anybody that knows California and the fig trees and the fig trees that, you know, wherever they are, and I, I'm sure they're in Florida also, but... Um, my grandmother had these fig trees, and when fig trees were ripe, they would fall to the ground. Well, unfortunately, fig trees looked just like grass. I mean, they, they weren't hairy, but they were green. Uh, anyways, they basically looked, they blended in really well. So, of course, when we were back there playing tag or catch or something, if you're not watching where you were walking or stepping or running, yeah, it felt like fresh poop going between your toes, and it just went, yeah, wasn't a good thing. So you would be bouncing around on one foot trying to find a stick to dig it out of your toes because, of course, you were barefoot because that's what we did as kids. And then you would eventually hobble over to the hose and wash it off. Good times. Um, that's my best memory. That's my favorite memory, actually. Uh, my worst memory is... I don't know if I can get through this one. This video might shut off automatically, accidentally automatically. I remember coming home from work and I got a phone call from Stacy and she says, I really need to go to Turks and Caicos. And I go, what's going on? And she goes, Angie, I will pay for the tickets. I will pay for the tickets in the hotel. I just won really big on, um, I want to say poker playing or blackjack or whatever she played. Um, but I remember her calling me and begging me begging, seriously begging me, Angie, let's go. Call in sick for the next week. Call your boss and tell him you can't come to work for the next week. Just do whatever you need to. And I'm like, Stacey, I'm, I can't do that. I can't do that. No, I can't do that. And uh, I basically, I needed her to change the subject. So I changed the subject. We were talking about something else, you know, because she wanted to, to get out of where she was living at. And she just broke up with her um, partner at the time. And she, we talked about her moving out here for a while just to get away. And, of course, we joked we couldn't live that close because we'd end up killing each other because, you know, that's how we were. But uh, she just kept on going back to the Turks and Caicos. She goes, and I go, okay, s seriously, what's going on? And she goes, Angie, I'm so exhausted. I'm so tired. And... Uh, I just need to get away. Let's just go down to Barbados, go down to Turks and Caicos, and let's just go. And I said, yeah, Stace, I'm not going to end up having you pay for everything. I can't afford it. Thank you, but I can't afford it. She goes, I'll pay for it, I'll pay for it. And I remember her begging me. And I just, I blew her off. I was like, you know what, I'm almost home. We'll talk about it tomorrow, okay? And she goes, Angie, Please promise me we'll go. And I go, I promise we will go. I promise. And the next day, she goes, I'm going to go. Oh, and before we hung up, I remember saying to her, I go, hey. 
And she goes, what? And I go, love you, shithead. And she goes, love you too, shithead. And we always said it kind of sarcastic. I don't know why. But, um, so the next day I called her, and she didn't answer her phone. And I thought, well, that's kind of weird. And, uh, I kept on calling and calling and calling and calling and calling and calling. Seriously, and I would to the point that I would call, like, every three minutes because that was not like her not to pick up my phone call at any time of the day it didn't matter if it was three o'clock in the morning three o'clock in the afternoon it she picked up always and I thought well this is kind of weird and also when we were talking the night before she told me that she had an email that she was almost done with that she was gonna send me but she was too tired to finish it and she would send it the next morning I said okay um, so all day long I kept on calling her all day long the next day I kept on calling her and I went on YouTube and I'm sitting there going god I must have pissed her off by not going to Turks and Caicos I wonder what's going on and I went into panic mode because I hate pissing people off I hate upsetting people and uh, I went on YouTube and I seen um, a fellow youtubers video uh, saying goodbye to Stacy that she passed away and of course I called this person and I said what the fuck are you talking about is this some joke and she said no uh, she said that her partner uh, her mom called and got worried that um, she wasn't answering the phone for her mom either and so she sent uh, she called, I guess, the ex-partner, and the ex-partner found her, or her ex-partner's mother found her passed away in her bed that night, and come to find out that she passed away that night after I said goodnight to her. But, um, so the trip, basically, um, she would have been dead by then, anyway, but, um, that was hard, because... She begged me to go <laughs> and just sat there and begged me and I blew her off like it's not a big deal and it was a big deal. But her last phone call out was to me. The email that was found by her partner um, was for me and it was still up on the computer and her partner hated me so she decided to delete it so still to this day I don't know what that email said and uh, and it was funny because one of her last videos that she made she was so excited um, that she because I told her I said you need to go out and go get some running shoes or walking shoes and uh, you know and go get exercising back into your life um, so yeah so she went and got those shoes and they were beautiful Nikes and the only thing I wanted when she passed away was those shoes anyways guys I gotta go bye